Hey guys, well today I'm going to be trying some powdered eggs. Now, I noticed that they had freeze-dried scrambled eggs, they had whole powdered eggs, so I wasn't really sure what to get. Uh, as far as I can remember, the only time I've ever had uh, powdered eggs was back in, when I was in the military back in 86, so... Uh, that was a couple years ago and my memory's not that great. I don't have a uh, fond memories of them, but I don't necessarily remember if I hated them or not. Um, so I'm going to give it a shot. I got these from uh, Rainy Day Foods. So we'll see. The directions say two and a half teaspoons of powdered eggs for two and a half teaspoons of water. So I just put two and a half teaspoons here in a bowl. And I did put a little salt and pepper in there and I'm just going to add two and a half teaspoons of water. And uh, hopefully that will constitute it correctly. It does appear to be a little... Uh, kind of looks like uh, baby food. I don't know. I only uh, I only tried this because the proposition of eating oatmeal every morning is just wasn't that appealing so I thought let's try to supplement with something else. Uh, I've got about less than half of a bottle of heat here. Shouldn't need too much fuel. This is not going to be taking that long I don't think. Uh, I've got the BS 1.1 I'm going to be using for this uh, in combination with the One Egg Wonder. And for the trail, I'll probably just use my 10 centimeter cook pot to make these eggs. There we go. that heat up a second. Uh, I've got a little olive oil here and throw in there. If anything it should help with the flavor. Uh, I don't know if you can see what we got here but This one egg wonder fits nice on the stove. You know, it is kind of awkward because of the handle, but it seems to be okay. You know, if you're doing any kind of stirring, you just want to hold the handle. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Doesn't really say what the consistency should be on here. For each egg, use two and a half tablespoons powder to two and a half tablespoons water. For baking, you don't need to reconstitute it. Uh, yeah, contains 100% pasteurized whole egg solids. Okay, all right, 
Let's give it a shot. See what we got. Probably ends up like a pancake, it looks like. Funny thing, is um, kind of looks like eggs, believe it or not. Uh, definitely looks like eggs. Didn't take very long to cook. I guess that's about one egg. Uh, might need to double that for sure if you're on the trail. Let me uh, snuff out that snow. Smother it. Okay. Well, it definitely didn't take long to cook those eggs. And, uh, see what they taste like. I tell you, it's definitely, when it's in the dish here, it was definitely not that appealing. It kind of looked like some kind of pureed uh, carrot, baby food, squash, something. But here in the dish, it actually looks like scrambled eggs. And... You can tell it's not fresh eggs when you eat it, but with some salt and pepper, and if maybe if you threw some of that ready cooked bacon stuff, yeah, it's definitely edible. And I think I can, I think I can eat that a few days. Great. Wow. Um, not bad. So that's good. Um, uh, we're interested in some, uh, trying some, uh, whole egg, dried, whole dried eggs. Go to Rainy Day Products. There are other companies out there that sell, uh, whole, there's different kinds of eggs too, but, uh, these were whole powdered eggs and as you can see, Looks just like scrambled eggs and tastes like a scrambled egg. Doesn't taste terrible. It's actually quite good. A little salt, a little pepper, and a pretty quick, pretty quick way to cook uh, breakfast in the morning. I use the BS 1.1 to uh, boil me some water.
for coffee and then throw some powdered eggs in there and uh, that should be a pretty good breakfast get some of the ready cooked bacon or that'll really help with uh, not having to worry about eating oatmeal every morning and in fact cooking the eggs was uh, quicker than boiling water for oatmeal so of course I'm gonna have coffee anyways so it doesn't really matter but yeah it's pretty good so thumbs up on the uh, powdered eggs I can deal with that the olive oil definitely helped and as well as the salt and pepper so thanks for watching I'm Sam at Batch Stoves please subscribe to the YouTube channel stop by the website and visit at www.batchstoves.com have a great day